And now we move to our fourth panelist, Annette Houtkamer. Houtkamer. I just failed on that exam. Annette has a lifetime experience in finance, insurance, reinsurance, and development, spanning India, Indonesia, Sri Lanka, Kenya, Tanzania, Burundi, Senegal, and South Africa. She's experienced in inclusive insurance and integrated risk management, building local capacity and mutual networks and institutions responsive to underserved markets. She is skilled in social insurance, insurance and economy, and holds an MBA. And Annette is going to now share with us the experience that we think we need to hear from you in, on, on, on this subject matter. Annette, you have the floor. Looking forward, thank you. Thank you, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to add um, insurance to the, well, the whole scene that we are discussing at the moment, insurance protection, as uh, Theo already mentioned, farmers wake up in the morning and uh, the first thing that they uh, think about is about risks. And uh, one of uh, those risks is uh, um, weather risk, drought, too much rain, whatever uh, uh, sort of uh, climate-related risk there may be. And for that, crop micro-insurance is hardly available. It uh, doesn't scale well down to the local level of farmers. And as a result, 500 million smallholder farmers are left without any financial protection against those hardships thrown at them by an act of God. Uh, the solution we think is IBISA, and IBISA stands for Inclusive Blockchain Insurance Using Space Assets. And I will come to all those components one by one. Uh, IBISA uh, is a mutualized solution. Um, it's based on peer-to-peer -peer risk sharing. Uh, as I said, supported by blockchain and earth observation uh, technologies. And because it is peer-to-peer, -peer, we are not a centralized insurance company. So we don't have a, a heavy overhead, and we don't have the traditional insurance paradigms. At the moment, we work with 16 strategic partnerships worldwide. Why worldwide? Because a peer-to-peer -peer risk sharing mechanism only works if you are able to diversify risks across the globe. If it's dry in Africa, most probably it will not be dry at the same point in time in Asia or in the Caribbean. So in that way, we diversify risks across the globe. Currently, already 2,600 uh, uh, farmers are uh, enrolled in our uh, pilot in India and Niger, and we are uh, starting to deploy by the end of this year in Bangladesh, Kenya, and or Guatemala, and that and or depends on the money available for the introduction to those local enablers. The enablers you may see at the bottom of your screen are Dan Foundation, <coughs> Réseau Bilital Maroubé in uh, um, Niger, Brak in Bangladesh, one of the biggest microfinance institutes in the world. Tula in Kenya, that is a um, um, value chain provider helping farmers with their inputs like uh, seeds and fertilizers. Micro is a, a um, Latin American based reinsurance entity uh, working for the bottom of the pyramid uh, insurances against natural catastrophes in that area. As I said, the market size is 500 million small farmers. Suppose that those small farmers pay 16 euro per year for protection against hardships. That would be 8,000 million euros in terms of premium. Suppose that we have 
10 percent uh, customers with a uh, sorry, 10 million customers, that makes a 2% market share, only 2%. That will lead to a turnover of 160 million euro. That is how big the market at the bottom of the pyramid is. Even if you are insuring smallholder farmers, only able to pay $16 per year. The product will be, is, I must say, an affordable protection. It's value to money. The 16 euro will go to the risk management, the risk sharing, the risk protection of the farmers, not to overhead. It is transparent. It will cover excess rain or drought, and it's modeled according to the demands of the farmers that we interviewed. It is mobile and instant. The premium payments will be done in small installments from the beginning of the season so that if a farmer incurs a loss at the beginning of the season because the rains are not coming, he or she may be able, from that small installment of money, to buy new seeds and go for a second sowing so that they, when the rains come, they may still have some uh, yields. There will no, uh, there is no need to uh, uh, send claim forms or do some sort of online uh, claims uh, 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 transaction t with us because we will uh, um, automatically pay out because of the constant uh, influx of um, earth observation data. So we will notice that there is a claim and farmers don't need to uh, alert us. They are onboarded with the mean, with the help of local partners, as I said, Brac, Dan, Tula, uh, RBM, uh, micro, and uh, they help them on board on Ibiza because most probably local farmers will not have access to internet. The farmer's plot is added into the system and the coverage is, is described, either excess rain or drought. Then the payments start. They can be frequent, monthly, weekly, but also quarterly or annually. We are, in, well, we don't care how you pay as long as the payments are made, that, that flexibility uh, will give the farmer the uh, uh, time to, to manage other risks and financial uh, means in the farm. So at the beginning of the season, you will have protection even if you only paid 80%, because we introduce a merit, and if you have only paid 80% of your premium, your proportional cover will be a little less, but you still will receive a payment if you have a loss. As I said, every month we will assess uh, uh, losses via the satellite. Currently, we'll, we will use NDVI and, and NDWI. W stands for water. The other one stands for vegetational index. And based on that, we will see what the situation in the fields are. No need for people to go there. So that's why it's not costly. And we will pay proportionally, as I said. We already uh, introduced the product in uh, uh, India um, with an organization spread over 14 states. So also in India, we have a logical diversification of risks. That is necessary because at this point in time, it is not allowed by the Indian uh, authorities to get money out of the country to pay other farmers. So the risk sharing that we are uh, uh, creating by means of IPISA is not allowed to do globally. So we have to find a diversification and decorrelation in the country itself. The other one is in Niger, where we uh, work with uh, a, a Drexis, and one of the uh, uh, people from Drexis is here to answer your questions if you want to know more about the Earth observation technology. <coughs> The technologies we use are blockchain, earth observation, and parametric insurance, and read all about it in your handout. Our roadmap, we, uh, we started in 2018 with seed money from the European Space Agency, the 1st of February 2018. This is where we are now. So we ca came this far in a year. And we uh, want to have at least 4 million uh, people on board it in 2022. We have some 
uh, uh, challenges. Each and every country has its own legal regulatory challenges, as we discussed this morning. We need to uh, discuss country-wise with the local uh, authorities whether they see us as insurance or whether they see us as a social benefit scheme or whether they allow the money to go out of the country for the uh, global risk sharing or not. It uh, takes up uh, uh, a lot of time. Having said that, there is uh, 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 an international um, uh, regulate, regulatory body, the uh, IAIS, based in Geneva, and it helps immensely that we have good connections over there and that we can c talk with them directly and they are the advisors to all the regulatory uh, and supervisor uh, entities in 200 jurisdictions. So we convinced them, meanwhile, about the usability of Ibiza, the fact that it is a mutual risk sharing uh, uh, um, um, mechanism and that it is to the benefit of the farmers and that, that we are trustworthy and that we do all the things that traditional insurers do to guide and protect the uh, interests of the insured farmers, such as solvency to regulations, etc. We are also constantly in co connection with the Commissariat aux Assurances in Luxembourg, where we are based. We have some press awards. Have a look at it when you have some time. Uh, we received some other awards, uh, the Financial Inclusion Awards in 2018. We were selected uh, uh, by the Springboard Business of Blockchain Lab in New York, and at the moment we are in San Francisco because we were selected as, uh, 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 by the Blockchain Accelerator program from Consensus, owner of the Ethereum platform, and uh, we are there now and uh, as part of the deal uh, for, for uh, being a part of this program, uh, Consensus invested $100,000 as our first shareholder in Ibiza. So we are pretty happy with that. Thanks, and have a look at our website. Thank you, Thank you so very much for this, Annette. You took us into another era. I have to thank CTA for having thought of including this important aspect of insurance. And as you spoke, I thought of how you um, were able to anticipate the issues that the farmers would be facing. You were able to facilitate in response and also to have made an impact. And we want to thank you for that. I hope and I believe that all of us found this um, as enlightening. Um, as I did, and we thank you so much for your presentation.